Well, gang, back here at that basketball court. We worked along this here border and a little bit on the other side, too. Been here about two hours. And people are actually at the basketball court for a change. Here's what I dug. Got the usual trash. I don't know, a whole mess of pop tops. I think that's a key from a sardine can. Some various, I don't know, a couple pop tops. Big stainless bolt. Bottle caps, a battery, some wire, a hook. And 25 cents and pennies. 25 cents and nickels. 70 cents and dimes. 50 cents and quarters. And something unusual. A 20 centavo piece. I reckon that's Mexico. Alrighty, then we got a smiley face kitty's ring, I guess. See? Alright, reads his brass. Who knows? And as always, what's in your yard? Here we got the Jarvis store which was in Oka and we're in Calhoun County near Grantsville now so that's where they moved it from and down there is the Stevens school now both the Jarvis and the Stevens families were very big they had lots of kids so they've been part of this county for like ever as you can see by the sign it's the LT stump tool shed I guess everything out here is from the 1800s, so. It's really pretty, too. A little shed down there, and a Jarvis store, and a Freed Post Office from Freed, West Virginia, which is not too far away. Actually, the town itself doesn't exist anymore, but that was saved. And then we've got the Kane Chapel which was actually a friend of ours house at one time and it didn't look anything like it does now hmm look at those mushrooms I think they call those then puff balls there's a whole bunch of them all in a line they said they had a fairy circle out here one time with these mushrooms growing in a big circle. Right in this, right in this area, right here. And over here in front of Kane Chapel, which used to be Jamie's house, there's a couple more. So anyway, in that fairy circle, they were, it was all the way around here in a great big circle. It's in the Her Herald. You can see a picture on that. Look it up. Google it. I don't know if you all could see that, but uh, I'll take a still. Now I'm going to show you the Ahab Stemple Cabin, which is pretty substantial. It's a pretty big one. There you go. Check it out. A couple porch swings. Yeah, man, I'd like to have this place. Look at that. Brand new chimney, man. That must have took some work. Boy, look at that. Check out the wood. That thing's 30, 30 foot high, at least. Okay, right there is the uh, watering trough right next to the blacksmith shop. That's pretty cool. Made out of stone. It looks to be an original. That's all cut stone there, chopped and chipped away. Looks like limestone. It's been repaired in a couple places with some concrete, but yeah, that's a period piece if I ever saw one right there. With a pump. That's the ticket. Beats carrying buckets. 
Well, look at that. There's. Man, that is a real log cabin. Look at the size of those timbers. They're huge. Got to be 15 inches. And tongue and groove. So I guess it ain't going to fall apart in the wind. Anyway, here's that plaque. I don't know if you all can see that or not, but there you go. Sorry, I'm shaking. That's how they used to make fences in the good old days. Right there. I guess they made the cabins pretty much the same way. There's your old hitching post right there. Tie up the horses right next to Jarvis' store. Let's see if they're open. They're not, but... What well, they got in the window? That says it's a rinse tub. There's a stove iron on that table there. Actually, that's an ironing board and a stove iron. That makes sense. Pure lard. We got to get some of that. Hang on. Let's see if I can show you this plaque. There you go. Stephen School. This is 1885. Guess that's what you call a one room schoolhouse. Nice job. Let's go up there and see what the plaque says. See if we can see in the windows. I don't know, folks. Can you see in there? Oh, yeah. You can see pretty good. Looks like. Look at that. That's pretty nice. See the wood stove and all of that. Wow. Here's a picture from in the front door. Wow, you can really see that stove now. Pot belly kind of thing. Look at there. There's the front of the classroom. And the chalkboards. I don't know. It don't look too different than the school I went to. We had real heat, though. But this would have been one of many rooms in a great big building. So, not a one room. So, there you go. Okay, well, we're over here heading towards this wagon. Wow, look at that. I think that's half new stuff and half old stuff they used to make that. Because them wheels sure ain't new. And you got a bench seat. Don't look like there's any kind of suspension though. It must have been a bumpy ride. Look at that. That's nice workmanship that right there. Oh, here we got steps to get up in it. Uh, I'm not doing that. Not with this thing. Look at that. That's nice. This is all oak. Pretty good. I reckon they built this shed just to keep it out of the elements. Now I'm taking you to the most important building in any community. I don't, even today. What's that? What's that you see? Why, I think it would be that one right there, the outhouse. Boy, got that quarter moon going on. I bet that makes the Muslims mad. Thought you might get a kick out of the sign. 
I guess that's to keep people from taking a dump in there, since it's just a dummy outhouse and it ain't meant to be used. It's just meant to be looked at, not peed or pooped on. There you go. I know some of you want to see the inside. Well, there you go. This one's got a window. My functional outhouse up at the farm doesn't have a window, but it's functional. All right. In other words, there's a hole dug there and a hole cut in the wood. That's yeah, that's it. Right there's your outhouse. Looks like this could be a two-holer. One for the kids and one for the adults. What do you think? Looky there. There's a uh, grinding wheel. I think you sat on the back and you pedaled it. And next to that, I don't know, I think that's a gravity pump. I could be wrong. Back there is a scarifier. They dragged that to tear up the grass and all that to start a new field. There's a horse drawn plow. Actually, there's a few of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a pond dredge. And I don't know what that is. That could be a spreader, like manure. Or cedar, I don't know. Anyway, it was horse drawn too. Looks like it's pretty complicated. Got all kinds of chains on it. Neat stuff here. Come down to Calhoun County, West Virginia. Check out this here park. Tell them disabled diggers sent you. Yep, tell them that. They'll charge you double. Alright. Just another view of the Ahab Stemple House from the backside. Look at that chimney, man. That is a work of art. I'm surprised folks in this day and age can do that kind of work. But look at that, man. That's nice. Hi, everybody. Here you go. That'll fool your detector. But I just got a couple pennies right here in a hole right next to where I was digging so hi gang these are my helpers today I've got this little fella over here I've got that little fella over there I've got there's this young girl right here they all been helping me today doing some digging so we found a few pennies and I was up here at the park but it's too hot to dig, so I'm heading on home. Say bye. Say bye. Here I am back at that basketball court again. I, uh, I thought I'd call this clip Anatomy of a Coin Spill, because there was over 30 coins in this one spot. All them flags. The ones with multiple flags had multiple coins in the hole. But all the individual ones were individual holes that I dug yesterday. And I probably missed a few, but... Man, there's a lot of them, but let's step back. The majority are in that little four-foot piece of property back there close to the fence. Most of the rest are scattered around in the same area, but look at the basketball court. I would think most of the action would be there. Or maybe all on that end, or around that bench. This is almost smack on the center line. Or around there, too, would be another place. But this is almost smack on the center line, and I get coins out of this place all the time, and nobody uses it. So, they've all been there a while, but there was multiple holes with multiple coins. There's a, one that had four dimes in it, one that had four nickels in it, a few with two or three pennies in each hole, but most of the rest were individual like that. They were nickels, dimes, pennies, and quarters. 
Oh yeah, and a 20 centavo piece they found over there on that one lone flag. Alright, so anyway, this is my anatomy of a coin spill. Somebody got mugged, they dumped all his change, the rest is just incidental coin losses from the basketball court, except the 20 centavo piece. That I still don't figure out. Alright, that was that. On to digging new holes. What's in your part? Howdy folks. Coming at you again. This time from this silly basketball court that I've been to a hundred times. There's still coins. Uh, I took up where I left off at the anatomy of a coin spill and went about halfway around the, the court. And this is what we got. We got three little pieces of lead. I don't know, maybe seals for an electric meter or something. Who knows? A nut, a 22 blank, a brass cover nut for a hole in an electrical box, big spike, a mess of pop tops, a little bit of copper wire, a couple nails, a couple bolts, whatever. The junk, if you're going detecting, this is what you get. But you get all that stuff in between getting one nickel, two quarters, nine dimes, and 16 pennies. So it's not a total loss. Alrighty. Well, you know I gotta say it. What's in your yard? Or for that matter, what's in your park? <laughs>